So I'm going to let him starve down. I'm going to have to. Oh, he's actively losing taming efficiency. Jeez, I have to feed him now. Like, no, he's like actively losing it. Watch. That's because he's hungry. Shoot, and he just took off. Alrighty, guys. So welcome back to Ark, where today I'm going to be going and taming up some Jeroboas and Vultures. Now, I already got two 150s of Jeroboas spawned in, but they still could get killed and they could also despawn. So we're going to try and make this quick. I need to go to my fridge and I need to get out. Kibbles. I don't know what... Hold up. I got it pulled up here on my side. Um, What do Jeroboas eat? Preferred food. Plant species Y seed. Got it. A vulture. Let's pull up the vulture and see what they prefer. Spoiled food. Spoiled meat. Okay. I can do this. This should be pretty easy today. So we'll just grab that. All that's in my anthill over here. So we'll just go access the anthill. Boom. Plant species Y seeds. Uh, oh no. Those are not in here. Um... I'm pretty sure, though, it should be fine with the kibble. Although, I should try. I might be able to find some. Hold up, hold up. Moralitops, Moralitops. You were my seed gatherer. Dang it, you don't have any. Okay, I'm getting some plant species Y seeds out of this. I got eight. I want to get at least ten. Okay. So, from what I can tell, it's these little cactuses. See that? They'll give me the seeds. I hope. Or maybe I was misreading it. Oh, there, there we go. We just got plus eight. So how many plants we choose? That's the wrong inventory button. So we got 16. Okay. So we got everything we need now in terms of kibble. Also, if you have noticed, I have gotten my fire wyverns all bred up. And now we have the genetic... Uh, we have the breeding pair for them. I'm going to quit saying the breeding pair. Or the genetic library. Because I'm just going to say breeding pair from now on. So, like, yeah, look at that. And we got these nice colors on them. So there's his stats. He's got the 43 health, 51 stamina, and 40 melee. Now, I haven't even leveled him. I quite literally just got him imprinted. But, like, look at this. I love, I love the blue on the wyvern. Especially the fire wyvern. Nice. So this first Jiraboa is over here where we uh, set up that little... Uh, temporary base that we like tore down within the first like day so we're just gonna head over here we're gonna do i have it yes i do i was wondering if i had my club now i'm not too worried about the jeroboas these things spawn in abundance i had my pick of 150s these were just the closest ones that were matching or a male and female pair you know so these are the ones we go after. Now, I'm pretty sure, if I remember, there are terror birds around this area. And there are also thorny dragons. So we might have to hang out while we tame him so that way he doesn't get annihilated. And that other one is right over by Red Ob. That's where we got our one guy here. But, yeah. Okay, buddy. Just trying to be delicate here with the clubbing. I need you to run the other way. There we go. Now, I hate that you're this close to the water. I'm going to bring the wyvern over it to protect it. I'm going to use the wyvern as like a shelter. I was I probably should have also brought my ghillie suit so nothing would have been like aggroed on me cuz you know I could have been just like you know stealth mode hiding in the grass. So, am I standing directly on top of him? No. We can still access him. All right. So, I'm going to let this guy starve down till it's about uh, 1200 and then I'm going to start giving him plant species Y seeds and then we'll see if that works. I also just realized this. I've been hauling around this Manta saddle, which I probably don't need to be doing. Also, I'm trying to, like, get my uh, hot bar here organized, and I just, like, spaced off and completely forgot how. And I just now realized how to do it. 
Okay, I think it's time. I'm going to give him half the, the seeds. That's one. Oh! Oh, that actually... That looked... That worked way better than I thought they would. He only ate four seeds. That's awesome. Oh, five, I think. Did I... No, I didn't shift hold it. Maybe I did. I think I did. Do you just keep eating these? I should not let you do that. I need those. Damn. Also, uh... Look at this Jeroboa's stats. I didn't even intend for this. I didn't even check the stats beforehand, but he got, he's got 40 health and he's got 48 melee. You know what, buddy? Technically, you do fall in lines for a genetic library one, but you are a shoulder pet, so you are technically excluded from stats. Technically, yes and no. There are certain ones, though, where I will have to breed certain stats in. Like the glow pets in Aberration. I always breed in so much uh, uh, charge capacity. And I also try and breed in health on them. Just so that way they don't get one shot. I'd always say go go for breeding health into shoulder pets. Don't listen to me. I do try and do health. But most of the time I get like annoyed with certain creatures. And it's just like yeah. We're just going to breed you until I like get two 150s. I don't even care about the stats. And just breed you together until they level out. But usually, usually I try. There's only been one creature that I've done that to. Actually, there's been a couple. The no untamables, uh, the, my farm creatures, all the ones except the egg creatures, like all my, uh, my Eryptodons, my Anomalocara, not my Anomalocaras, my Ammonites, sorry. The Anomalocaras are an Archidition creature you have to pay for. Is this guy even here? Where the hell? Okay, you're right there. Usually this place is ripping with raptors. I know as soon as I start doing this though, something's gonna happen. There we go. I think I'm just clear right now. There was definitely stuff around here. Because I'm now seeing a kangaroo jumping around. It's always weird though when you show up someplace and there's been no spawns. I'm wondering if everything spawned over there where the train tracks are. Because that's, that's probably where everything has been spawned for this area. Because that's where I've been coming by in this area is over by the train tracks. Is that a baby kangaroo? Level 10, Procoptodon. I could have sworn I saw a baby. Oh, there is! Look at the little Joey. I definitely want to get Procoptodons at one point. They were, like, they were originally one of the fastest ways to get across the map in Ark. Then it became the May... Well, then it was Wyverns. Then it was uh, Maywings, I believe, became the fastest. If I'm correct. If I'm wrong, somebody will correct me. But yeah, I'm pretty sure May Wings became the fastest thing in Ark to cross the map. Just because, like, you could sit there and you could glide at such a hot, like, fast feet, like, fast speed directly over the water. Okay, I just gave her the taming food. This should be perfect. Boom. Done. Let's see what your stats came out as. Um. Im... Is that a... Is that a 64 in health? That is... That is insane. My lady, you have 64 points into health. Oh, you also look really cute. I'm not gonna lie. I think you're the colors I want for the Jeroboas. Like, that is also... Like, I'm not gonna lie. That is a really cute looking Jeroboa. Especially with the colors it has. I like the pattern. Like, it, it gets from the colors. We're definitely going to try and breathe that one in. But like 64 points, madam. 64 freaking points. And I was just hoping you were going to make this easy with, for me. I like, yeah. No, I'm going to actually have to breathe that in. No, I'm not joking. I will breed in the melee and the... And the... Oh, jeez. Also, I was searching up vultures and I selected the wrong one here, didn't I? Boom. That's the only 150 I've seen on the map. So, we're going to have to probably go slow with the vultures. 
But I'm guessing that it's over here. It's going to be on a mountain. I'm going to have to clear this. Clear. Clear it. Also, I don't remember exactly how to tame a vulture. So, we're just going to hover right here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to just quickly go watch it watch a video on how to tame a vulture because I don't remember how I uh I don't know what I was expecting it's quite literally just approach it and feed it like it cannot get any oop. I forgot this is not a lightning wyvern <laughs> I full on was expecting a beam of lightning not a jet of flame Nothing like a flamethrower. That was my 145. We need to get all these. There's all the Argentavis is burnt to a crisp. And he's currently working his way down to the mountain where it's not cleared. Jeez. I need to wait for him to land. Three feeds. Three feeds. That's what's going to take. This is going to be, uh, Little fun, I think. Let's check your stats, you know, while we're at it. I can't check your stats because I also have the f that pulled up. Alright, hold up. I think I just saw it. You got 30 base, 30 stam. You might actually get good stamina and you might get good health. That's what I'm saying. You got 30 in stamina and you got 30 in health. So we got to follow him now. Wait for him to land again. Okay, I think he's coming in for a landing, so that way he, I can feed him again. No? Or are you just lowering? He's landing. I'm gonna feed him again. I'm absolutely certain he's ready for a feed. Nope, 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 nope. Why aren't you ready? Do I have to wait for you to starve down by like 200? Alright, I'm just trying not to spook him, so... We're going to wait a bit. I don't think you can spook a vulture. But I think they'll get aggressive at you. Especially if you they think you're taking their food. Like any corpse. Just make sure we have the rifle loaded. In case something does decide to attack us. Okay, please just land. Please, please, please just land. That's all I need you to do. If you land, I'll give you a piece of rotten meat. Oh, I don't like how far he's getting. There's another vulture. Get away from the corpse. Get away from the corpse. Damn it. I think I aggroed it. This is the easiest and fastest way to get something, lose something's aggro. Get it out of render range. I don't think that should have affected its, uh, taming effectiveness at all. But it should want to land now. Oh, it does not want to land. It's going to land, but I don't know 
Where? Did you just aggro on me? You did, because I'm not crouching, damn it. Oh, this one's going to be tricky. Okay, are you landing or... You're just aggroed on me non-stop, dude. Like, what the hell? Like, I keep on... No, like, I lose his aggro, then he re-aggros on me for no reason. Like, I don't even do anything to get his aggro. He's just locked on to me. I need to... Let's completely go out of render range. And I'm pretty sure I'm losing taming efficiency now. Or, taming effectiveness now. Look it, he's coming right at me. I I swear I've lost his aggro. I keep on I go as far as I can and then he turns right back and comes at me. Even once he's like unrendered. We're gonna go as far as possible. I don't even think he's rendered in. We've gone like five hundred meters. There's no way he's even rendered in. He's complete. He has to have. If he flies straight at me. Shit, shit. I can't. I remember. I can't kill things. Is he coming at me? I think he is. Why isn't he landing? He seems to be like constantly sprinting. I think killing that creature busted this vulture. Because look, he's just flying. As fast as he can, as far as he can. He's not landing. Like, his AI, I think, is... Busted. See, now he's trying to attack me again. He did the swoop, now he's dipping. I full on think he's busted. Because look, he's coming back to attack again. I think I broke the vulture. Because I have. I've completely left him out of render distance. Look, I'm going to go all the way over to the top of this mountain. Okay, so we've just hit the top of the mountain. We're heading back. If I'm correct. Watch. He's closing distance. Is he coming at me? I don't think he is. But I feel like we have fully left him out of render distance. He shouldn't want anything to do with us now. At all. All I need him to do is land. Is if he could just land. Good thing I did not hit that raptor. I don't think it that raptor wants nothing to do with me. And neither does this vulture.
Okay, there's corpses down there that that vulture's trying to eat. I'm pretty sure once he's done, he should try and land. Yeah, he's gone back down into a calm down state. Look. I'm pretty sure he's on the ground. My feathered friend, I brought you meat. Now, we wait. Now we find a way back up to the wyvern. Technically, by the time I get back to the wyvern, he should be ready to eat again. Okay, so we just can't kill anything when we're taming these guys. That's the trick. Alrighty. I'm so glad that this guy became recoverable. Because I didn't know what to do if I didn't do anything. So I'm going to let him starve down. I'm going to have to. Oh, he's actively losing taming efficiency. Jeez, I have to feed him now. Like, you know, he's like actively losing it. Watch. That's because he's hungry. Shoot, and he just took off. I need you to land. I'm actively watching it drain. This guy's not going to come out as a 224. I do not believe it. Well, come on, please land. Please. By the time he lands, I'm not going to be able to get it. Oh. If I would have noticed sooner that I was able to feed him, I would have. Where did you come? Oh, you came out. Okay, okay. You came out with the st well, pretty good. Ooh, you got decent stamina, decent health, decent decent melee. It's not bad. You came out decent. Now we gotta move on to the second vulture. Which I'm hoping one is spawned in. Where are the vultures, damn it? Okay. Are there any vultures up here? Sometimes there might be some hidden behind them. I don't think these guys have any. There's only one that I'm seeing that might have something hidden behind it. Oh, shit. Look at that. Also, the reason why I have... If you notice here, my minimum level is set to 100. Watch if I set it down to 10. Just to my basic one. Look at how many other vultures there are. Look at how many vultures there are. There's a reason why I have the minimum set to that, so that way... I could see them. And that one is, like, hidden right underneath one. So, hopefully this guy is not hard at all to tame. And we can get it right out the way. Alrighty, so... We're coming up on the vulture. And my, uh, Jeroboa is making the sound, which I'm pretty sure is the heat wave. So, we might have a heat wave. Okay, we need to just land and approach. We'll walk. There we go. That vulture's taken care of. Also, I uh, didn't know Wyverns had an emo. That's nice. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Look at what they're attacking. I had to kill the Deodon so it didn't kill the Vulture. But his taming effectiveness is now reset. Because he got damaged from a wild creature. I would breathe fire on that snake, but there's also a bunch of... Uh, What do you call them? Ants. Right next to it. Now don't get hit by anything. I need you. I keep on hitting the 
crouch button once I get up on my wyvern because I want to crouch on the head and look at it. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on this gal. Okay, I'm hoping it's feedable. Please be feedable. You're not feedable. How much do I... You're starved down by 200. I think next time it lands, I can feed it. Absolutely next time it lands. Which, I don't know when that's going to be. But luckily we got somewhat of a safe area here around my... It's going for that corpse. We gotta keep our distance so that way we don't get the aggro from the corpse. My vulture is heading that way. Also, it was a rainstorm. Damn, it's the monsoon season! Don't go sprinting up on your vulture. You don't want to spook it. Please do not take off. Please do not take off. Please be hungry. Ooh. Like right as a 99.6%. Oh, that's your taming efficiency. I am so dumb. I don't know what I have to wait. let you starve down to. Uh, this is also a weird having it rain. Ooh, I did not expect you to be feedable, my madam. What is your stats? Oh, look at that stamina. You got good stamina just like the guy. So I guess our vultures will have good stamina and decent health. So we got our vultures and we got our Jeroboas. That's awesome. So that's two creatures for the genetic library checked off. Now I just have to breed them together. Also, I'm following the train tracks to find my way back home. So that way I can get home. Like, I can't see a thing in this storm. I'm so glad I got train tracks to follow. And look at that. Now we're out of the storm. Is there really just a storm over there? So we're back at base. What I'm going to do is here. We're going to start breeding up the poison wyverns. The vultures and the jeroboas. All three of them at once. Just so that way I can be, you know, efficient in uh, getting this done. Also, I figured this time around, I would let you guys pick the name for the Fire Wyvern. So, drop any name you guys want. I will pick my favorite out of them, and I will name this Wyvern. So, yeah. I am giving you guys the option to name this one. So, yay. So, yeah. Anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, if you don't know, I just hit 2,000 subs. And well, I'm very excited about that. And well, because of that, I do want to remind you, I do have a goal for 10,000 subs this year. We're really making good progress. We got a good 1,000 subs in about three months. So I know that's not as much as I was hoping. So I'm really hoping we can kick it into high gear here. But yeah. Also, I am running a membership goal for the channel, so we're currently trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. Once we hit that goal of 10 members, we will be opening up an ARC server, but once we get closer to that goal, we will talk about what map and all that. But anyways, this has been Gunshimore, signing off. Peace.